Welcome to Tough Talk. My guest today is Kaushik Basu, Professor of Economics at Cornell University and the sole dissenter on the recently submitted Yashpal Committee report on higher education. Welcome to the show, Kaushik. Thank you. you know, not only were you the sole dissenter, but apparently it appears that it didn't even appear on the website where the report was. Is that accurate? Uh, Sujit, this is uh, hearsay. I was told that it was not on the website when yeah. the dissent note went up, which w if, it, if that was the case, that was very wrong because I agreed to go along with the report till the end on condition that the dissent note would be a part of the report. But Just it hold, was, hold, yeah. hold it right there. Yeah. Are you trying to tell me that they needed to be told this very elaborate committee, which is after all the subject is higher education, that they would... It was a precondition almost that, that a dissent note wouldn't be there, that you had to actually demand it? Yeah. No, it reached a point which was completely towards the end that yeah. I said that I would not be able to go along with the report as it stands and I will sign on to it on condition that between the covers they would include my four pages mm -hmm. where I put forward my view. And so I, I mean, I had the option of saying that I would not go along with the report at all, of resigning. But I made it a condition that they would include this, and they agreed. Mm -hmm. And then there was a point when I was told that it was not on the website. This is um, very difficult to say whether it's by design or it's uh, bureaucratic. Or error commission. Yes, you can never well, be sure. In today's but day it was and world, you know, we have Infosys, we have all the software in the world how difficult it is to put in the dissent on the website. Yeah. But and we'll leave that. I had to write to the minister, Kapil Sabal, to have it put up, and it's up now. I see. So that yeah. actually is a good introduction to um, the topic at hand, this report. Tell me, what was broke? What needed to be fixed that the government set up this very, very elaborate committee? Yeah. Um, Sujit, in fact, the reason I came on the committee uh, more than a year ago mm. Uh, because of my close association with the university system, and we've both worked in years ago together, uh, and the feeling that India had a huge initial advantage in higher education and research mm. compared to the developing countries. We really stood out. Absolutely. That's gone. It went, we don't quite know when, but over the last 15, 20 years, it's gone. And that the government of India was willing to re-look at the entire structure of education was very attractive to me and I signed on. Okay, so, yeah. so the feeling of the committee or uh, the government was that something was broke, i.e. the education system, higher education system in this case, and so they recognized that that was broke. Now, coming to the committee, what did they think in your discussions, what led to the breakup? In other words, if we know what led to the breakup, we can fix it. Yes. So what led to the breakup according to the committee? Um, sorry, a breakup uh, of the uh, Indian education system, the fact that yeah, it's not performing. Yeah. Um, you, you know, if you, if you read the sort of main report, that's not very clear because exactly. it is... I have gone through. Okay. Yeah. So it takes the position that uh, India has a long tradition of higher education, we ought to do well, subjects should be more interdisciplinary. To me, all, all this is things, fine. Motherhood and everything else in there. It's all this is fine. You have to pin down concrete things that mm -hmm. we want to do. And to me, it seems that the biggest thing that had gone wrong mm -hmm. is that not that we had made any changes which were wrong, but we had made no changes.